This is my version of a quality pumpkin pie. The first step in the process is making the pie crust. It's made out of almond flour. I like to make my own almond flour by grinding almonds in my food processor, but you can buy almond flour in the store. It's gonna take two cups of almond flour for this pie crust, measure it out, and put it in your food processor. Then you're gonna mix the rest of the dry ingredients. One teaspoon of sugar, and about a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. And a little bit of salt. Then you're gonna close it up and pulse a few times just to mix those dry ingredients together. And next you'll have the wet ingredients. Vanilla extract and an egg. Mix it together and while you're mixing, you're gonna add about two teaspoons of coconut oil. Then you're gonna mix it all together and put it in your pie tin. And you should have something that can be easily formed into a pie crust. Next is the filling. It's gonna take four eggs, whisk them together, and put them in your food processor. Then you're gonna add some pumpkin. Mix it together just under a quarter cup of sugar and about two teaspoons of gluten-free flour and some salt. Cinnamon, nutmeg, and ginger. The most important part here, molasses. It looks like about a teaspoon here that I'm putting in the video, but Really, it's about a tablespoon and a half. It's gonna give this pie a nice, rich, dark color and rich taste. Make sure to get every drop. Next is the most precarious part of making the pie putting the pie into the oven without spilling it. A smart thing to do here would be to put your pie crust on a metal baking sheet before you pour the filling. Then you can pour the filling into the pie crust which is on a baking sheet and you can put it in the oven with evenly distributed pressure and avoid spilling. There it is, no spills with this one. When you're taking out, be gentle. It's not set yet. You get to put it out to set for a few hours, let it cool. And there you have it. Easy as pie.